Right, Amari, um, first question the fans want to know, who's quicker, yourself or Kobe Arthur? I think I have to go to me, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, just based on the original impressions, have you actually had a race with him yet? Uh, no, I haven't had an actual race with him, but from impressions, I think I'm faster than him. Right. Okay. Um, what's your favourite joke? Favourite joke? Oh, I don't know. I'm a bit cheesy, so I like a not not joke every now and then. If someone comes up with anything, yeah. I laugh at it. So I haven't got one personally, but what? it's one okay. of the ones. Right. Um, what do you think is the best bit of business, transfer business, done this summer in any division? That might have to go to Sanchez at Arsenal or Fabregas to Chelsea, depending on how it goes. But Sanchez is a great buy for Arsenal. Okay. Uh, how fast do you think you can do the 100 metres? Have you, have you been timed recently? Or? I haven't been timed recently. I think the last time I've been timed was a couple of years ago, back in school. So probably about 11 seconds, maybe. 12, yeah, pretty, around there. Pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, which team do you support? <laughs> probably going to laugh. Tottenham Hotspur. Right. Any, any particular reason? No, just team I was watching when I was younger, growing up, and just like them. Yeah, yeah Robbie okay. Keane, Jermaine Defoe. Yeah. Always used to watch them. Yeah. So you haven't got a soft spot for any of the Birmingham based clubs or anything, you've always been Tottenham? I've got a soft spot for them because of my local clubs, but I've always been Tottenham up to a support. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what would be your perfect Sunday? Perfect Sunday. If I'm not with my friends chilling, um, just having a little joke and catch up. Um, with my grandparents at the weekend, uh, just sitting, watching TV, just spend some quality time. Yeah, just nice relaxing day. Yeah. Right. Uh, what was your best position? Do you think, if you, if you could choose, I know you, you're quite adaptable, but if you could choose your best position, what would you what would you say? Um, if I could choose my best position, it probably would be behind the striker and in between the lines. Or I, I like actually going out wide at times if it's too crowded in there. So I just learn to adapt because sometimes it's just not working when you're in the hole. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, you, you're going to the football league for the first time. Are there any grounds you're particularly looking forward to playing at? Um, grounds. Don't know all of them. I'm actually just buzzing to be playing in the league, really, and then getting on with it, and then hopefully I can just help the team out. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which player has impressed you the most in training in Cheltenham? Um, in training, I think that would be Matty Richards. His consistency is. Eight, nines, tens, every single training session. I don't think I've seen him have a bad training session. Consistency is a big thing for him, and he's doing well. Okay. Who is your dream woman? Dream woman? Oh, there's a few. <laughs> if only I could pick more. Um, <laughs> I think I'll go with Christina Millian, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll go with her. Okay. Um, what are you expecting um, from League Two? Do you think, how much of a step up do you think it's going to be from playing in the Conference North? Uh, it's going to be a big step up, but I think I can make the change. I think I can actually do well in the league as long as I keep my confidence up and I get game time, and I think I can actually help benefit the team. Yeah. Okay. What do you think your biggest challenge will be, making that adjustment from <coughs> you know, stepping up two levels? Um, my biggest challenge would be <coughs> um, fitness, match fitness, keeping up with the tempo of the game because it's a lot quicker. Um, so I think that will be my biggest challenge, I think, just making yeah. sure I'm match ready. Okay. Are you moving to the area? I was thinking about it, but I haven't moved at the moment. But um, it's not something I wouldn't rule out, but I'd have to say. Okay. <coughs> Which players do you spend the most time with outside of training? Outside of training, I probably spend the most time with Colby, because uh, he lives more closer to my house around Birmingham. And yeah, that's about it. In training, I hang around with most of them, but mainly Craig or Byron. Okay. Yeah. Um, has the manager told you what he wants for you to try and earn a longer deal? Because obviously you've got six months at the moment. Has he told you any? Has he set you any specific targets? Or told you anything specific you need to work on? Um, not something specific, but mainly the major things that you would expect to help push the starting eleven and to try and find a space in the team. Uh, goals, assists, really, just putting in good all-round performances, and that should hopefully secure me another deal. So I just got to wait. Okay. Um, what does the chance to play in the football league mean to you? Chance is unbelievable. Like I've been waiting for it for a couple of years, and now I've actually got the chance. So I'm just hopefully I get to take it with two hands and do well. Okay. Who's the quickest player at the club? Quickest player at the club. I think that's the obvious one. I think Craig is the quickest one. Yeah. I might be able to try and push him close, but I think he's the quickest. I think player, you're yeah. second then at the moment. Yeah, I think I'll be second. I'll take second place. Yeah. Okay. Who's the scariest player in the squad? Scariest. Tails. Yeah. 
you don't know if sometimes if he's serious, joking, he's got that straight face and yeah, I think I'll cast him as a scare as well. Okay. Um, how important do you think friendlies are? Friendlies are, they are important to set yourself as a basis to know what you're going to do for the season but sometimes the results doesn't take show of what you're going to do throughout the whole season because you're just floating around with different formations, different systems and you're just trying to work out what's going to happen. Like the weekend we went through like three formations in one game just to see how, how things are going to plan out because you might change throughout the game. So I wouldn't worry, it's not so much the results during pre-season, it's the si results during the season. So just got to wait for that. Okay. Can you sing? <laughs> no, I'm a terrible singer. I might sing in the shower a couple of times, and, but that's about it. Yeah, never sing. Okay. Dance? Oh, I used to when I was younger, I can't dance now, just maybe if I was at a family party or something, I might just shuffle up the back a little bit, <laughs> and that's about it, really. Okay, um, what's your favourite type of music to listen to? Um, hip hop, R and B. Um, yeah, I listen to a bit of that. Yeah, that's it, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, are there any teams you particularly want to beat this season? Not particularly. I think we want to win most games. We've got to win every single game, but um, and that's not one in particular for me personally. I haven't got a grudge or anything. Yeah. Right, great, that's, that's great, Amari, thank you very much.